Hi everybody, Sandy here. Welcome to my channel and happy Saturday to you. Uh, you may not be watching this recording on a Saturday, but any day that you're crafting is a happy day. So uh, today I'm going to show you how I made this little mini folio photo book out of patterned paper. And um, I'll be using the Heart of Courage paper by Country Craft Creations and the sunflowers I made on my last video. So come join me. Let's... Uh, start making this. said I'm going to be using the Heart of Courage 8x8 paper so you do want an 8x8 paper pad you don't use the full thing just grab what you have pattern paper double-sided works best um, this particular one has been uh, printed uh, in support of Ukraine and designed by Country Craft Creations designed by Tammy and it's um, I know she's done, done the third printing of it to sell on her website and it may be there. If not, if it's already gone, it's sold out. I apologize. But any pretty paper that you have that works with sunflowers, if you're using the sunflowers, if you've made these along with me, um, will work uh, for this little folio. So let me show it to you real quick. Let me move this out of the way. Okay, let's untie it. I just used some simple um, twine, jute twine or burlap twine, I don't know, that I picked up uh, at the craft store. And... Um, as I said, this is made out of uh, patterned paper. Now, I did try to do something with assembly, and it messed this one up. So I do like this um, outer spine cover that I have on here. We're going to be doing that. But the ones on the center, we should not have to do that. I had to do that to fix something that I messed up on the prototype here. But anyway, this just opens up. We have a little folder-like pocket in here. I put some of the cut parts in here. I made a tag. Um, this has a little belly band with one of the cut aparts and a tag, a little short tag there. I need some more of that string. And then we have another file folder pocket here with a uh, booklet I made out of the cut aparts. And this is just out of the patterned paper, a mat. You just, you know, scraps of paper, tuck it in that you like. Uh, this has a photo mount. Now this is a pocket on the inside with a th large thumb notch and then inside I put a, a folder, a light piece, and this is, I have a punch that does this, like it's torn out of sheet of paper here. And so this just kind of slips back in. Now it's a little difficult, it, it might have been better to not have the double notch, but I like the look of the double notch, thumb notch here on both sides so you can see that patterned paper. So I'll have to think about that. And then this one is another folder pocket with a tag in it. So you can put photos in there. And then we have a uh, scallop punch this piece of paper and made a tuck spot. Another folder pocket. And then on the back I attached the string with a scrap of the paper. So that is the little um, folio which finish size measures four. By four and a half I think yeah four by four and a half so we're gonna make this out of I'm gonna make another one out of the same paper I bought two packs of the heart of courage of course I didn't use a full pack but um, to make two of these I will use some of the papers out of the second pack so anyway let's get started on this to make the book we're going to need two of the pieces that are eight by eight we leave them eight by eight and this time I chose this one with the butterflies and the wording. Um, and then I also chose again this one with the check. And for the next, for the third piece, you want to cut this down to um, to seven and then about four and a half. So I need to cut again. Sorry about that. But I already finished it. So the seven inch goes uh, crossways. This is the top of the pattern. And then you want to cut it down to four and a half. So I forgot that. Cut this down to four and a half. Cut there, it's not 
flat. There we go. Save that piece. And then we have this one ready. Now, if you want to ink, you can. I did ink with black. Um, I don't know if I'm going to ink on this one until I finish. So we're going to first work with the 8x8s. Eight eight. So I'm going to get my scoring tool. So take one of your 8x8s eight eight, and you're going to put the uh, facing up so that you see the print the way that it's supposed to be. You don't want it upside down or sideways. So put it in. You're going to score this 8-inch side. You're going to score at 4 inches. And then we're going to turn so that the bottom is here on the left, at the bottom of the pattern, and we're going to score at 3 and a half. Now this is going to make your file folder type pocket. You can make it shorter if you wanted to. I wouldn't make it any taller. So we're going to score at three and a half. Now keep in mind this is pattern paper. You could make this out of cardstock and then cut your pattern paper to fit to make it more durable. Uh, this is something quick and easy I wanted to do. Um, if you send it or give it to someone, you know, it's, it's not going to last forever. So it's, it's something cute that you can make really quick and give us a gift or, you know, tuck a gift card in it or uh, whatever and just give it away knowing that it's not going to be a permanent type strong thing because it is patterned paper with a lot of bending it could crack. So take your other um, 8 by 8 and I'm just trying to decide my patterns. I want this to run how I did it in the other one. Uh, I'll put the borders. I don't think it matters much. I'm going to score this at half, at four inch, and then again at three and a half. So we do two of these exactly the same. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and score, whoops, three and a half. Go ahead and score our other piece, our four and a half by seven, and we're going to score um, the eight inch side just at four. Okay. Make sure I've got that scored right. Okay, so now we can put the scoreboard up. Don't think we need it anymore. And get it out of our way and start getting ready to um, assemble this. Now, this is going to be a pocket on the inside. So go ahead and fold and burnish that in half. Now, I didn't get mine quite right even, so I am just going to trim just a tiny bit off right here. And you do have to do some trimming so that things don't stick out when you're doing it. So I'm going to take my circle punch and I'm just going to put it in the center and punch me a notch. About half of the circle like that. So that's going to be a pocket, but we're not going to assemble it or glue it anything yet. So let's get our cover and our pages. Now this is going to be our cover. And I know that when I fold this up, it's going to be upside down in here and that's okay. So that is something that we just work with and our covers on the outside. So to make this, I went ahead and folded and burnished my lines. Okay, and then I'm going to fold it in half long ways. Okay, and this is what's going to make our pocket. I'm just going to look it over real quick, make sure I'm not making any mistake from when I did it before. So I had to look and double check. So with, with it folded like this, and again, it is not perfectly even here. So I'm just going to trim where it is not even. I don't know if that was my scoring or, or what, but I, I want it even there on the side. So I cut just a smidge off this one piece. So you have it folded in half like this. And we're going to cut starting about an inch over, turn the scissors so that it's headed towards the center fold and just cut out a triangle, stopping at, I'm going to switch scissors because I like this pointy ones here better, stop at the center. So we have this triangle scrap here, lay that aside. Now then you have it looking like this, got the, about an inch here. When you open this up, you're going to flip these up, and there is the uh, pocket for that, just like that. 
okay? So we're going to do the same on the other. Yes, these images are upside down, and that's why you can take scraps of paper. I don't know necessarily these would work, but you can trim these to kind of double layer over to make the image appear more straight, uh, right side up. Um, so that's why if you make it out of cardstock, you wouldn't have to worry about that. You would just cut your paper. So let's go ahead and do this one the same way. Let's fold our score lines. And I may have done this one a different direction than the one I did before, and that's okay. And I'm folding it in half the long ways and looking at it, and I see that I am overextending a little bit. So I'm going to trim that off. Okay, and then keeping it here like this, scoot over about an inch, turn your scissors, head towards the point. My other little, do it as straight as you can and head towards the point here in the center, stopping at the fold. Lay that aside, open this up, flip this up. Now you can do it that way, or if you prefer, you can do it this way. I kind of like that this way this time. So I'm going to do that. Give some patterned paper so I fold that back in and burnish. Okay. So, okay. So to put this together, we're going to stack the piece that's the cover and the piece that's the inner page, the other uh, folder pockets. And then this one that's going to make a pocket here in the center. So we have all these together. We're going to line them up along the fold. And on this one, I'm going to hand stitch it together. Uh, what I made, mistake I made is I tried to sew through all these thicknesses on my sewing machine. I don't know if I had the setting, didn't have big enough stitches or whatever. So it, it didn't work. So that's why I put these little hinge things inside to save the prototype. But I think on this one, this is what I'm going to do is just do the hand stitching. So these are uh, four and a half tall, so you should line them up. And you want to make sure they're lined up into the fold. So I take clips here and I'm going to clip it, each one at the top and then at the bottom. So this is similar to making a little junk journal on this little folio photo book. Okay, so I messed up in the original recording in showing this got out of camera, got way down here where it's close to me. So I'll, I've just taken scraps of the paper. Uh, this is the actual size of the book folio but I wanted to show you how to thread it because I, it, I was off camera so anyway from the this would be the center with the clip together all the pages clipped together so in the center let's poke a hole in and go um, all the way through make sure I'm standing and leave a tail okay and then you're going to go I went from the bottom so turn it over to the outside about a half inch, up, poke through where the fold is, come all the way through, okay, then move your tail out of the way, go up and poke through the top, about a half inch from the top, and pull like that, and then you're going to come back up on the outside through the center and don't go don't poke through the thread but pull it all the way back up and then you can uh, cut your where's my scissors yeah cut your string so you have enough to tie <clears throat> so you're on the inside now this is the center so where it's on the inside you're going to have a string on each side of this long one and you're going to tie a knot, pull it really tight, this is through the string, pull it tight, now then you cut that uh, off short like that, and <clears throat> when we assemble the pocket, there will be a pocket in there, it will cover this part up, but that's how you do the sewing, so I just wanted to show you real quick, since I did goof up on camera, that that's how your 
pages are put together and then we'll finish the uh, spine cover and everything and hopefully I didn't mess that up. Now this is on the inside of your pocket so when this folds up and glues you're not going to see that inside knot and then when I put a cover piece here on the outside you're not going to see it on the outside. So if you wanted to see it you would do it a little different but I didn't want to see it on mine I just wanted to hold my pages together. So the next thing I'm going to do is seal up this pocket and so that is done with glue and you just put a line of glue from the fold all the way up to the edge where the notch is on both sides. Like that, then you close it together, make sure it lines up like that, and you're going to burnish this on the edge and let that dry. So that seals up that pocket there. And then we have a pocket here that we can put our little folder thing in and we're going to let this dry for a minute. So now when we close this up we have our book looking like that. So next I'm going to put a piece here on the edge. So for the spine cover from your scraps or another piece of paper cut a piece that is uh, four and a half just double check, you might want to cut a little bit longer to make sure it covers the full length of your width of your book by one and a half. So I've chosen this one, uh, I could use either side, but I'm going to use the, um, with this little bit of blue on it, I'll put that on the front. So I'm going to put glue just on my cover along the edge here. You don't want it on the fold of the cover and about an inch out. Okay, and then I'm going to take this, I'm going to line this up, make sure it is straight, even on each end, okay, and burnish that. I'm doing the front side first, because you don't want to glue where the uh, string is, where your little rounded spine is. So you're going to round this over carefully, and then we're just going to put glue on this outer part here. I'm going to leave it about an eighth of an inch away from the fold where it's going to fold over. So I'm going to put glue on this back side piece and then I just carefully fold it over and line it up and get it as straight as possible and just glue that down right there. Okay, and then burnish that. So the glue is not in the little fold. You've got a little tiny spine in there area. So I'm going to let that dry. And that is the front or the cover of the book. And when it opens up, you'll see the rest of it coming together. So let that dry for just a bit. Okay, so here on these uh, two first uh, file pockets, here and here, they're up, the butterfly's upside down, the lettering's upside down, this wording in the hearts are upside down. These two here in the yellow check, these are fine. You don't have to do anything with them. But these I want to kind of put some paper over them to fix where they're upside down. So I cut two pieces of paper that are um, from another piece of pattern paper that matches that. I cut uh, their three and three quarters wide by three and a quarter tall. And then I'm going to place this here. So it's not going to cover the whole thing. And I put me a tick mark about right here. And I'm just going to cut with my scissors from the tick mark at an angle to the point. And I hope that that's about what I want. fits right there and it's it's not exactly perfect I'm going to trim just a little more here making it what it does it just changes the direction there and it does have a little bit of border 
on there. So I'm just going to glue this down. You could use a different print if you wanted to. I'm just using basically what would be the same pattern and just cutting it to, to fit in there. Okay, like that. And that just changes the directions of the lettering so it looks better. Then I'm going to do it on this side too. And I put a tick mark on my paper here already. And I'm cutting at an angle there to make that, to fix that in there. I'm just going to glue that in. And like I said, if you wanted to make this out of cardstock, you could. And then you would just cut your papers to fit everything, your patterned papers. So there we got that one. Don't need that. And then we have, we've got this glued, so everything in here should be the right direction. Now we've got this on here, and we're ready to make some tags. Um, take a look at my other one. See here on the front, now I only have two of the sunflowers left. Right here, and I'm gonna put those here, these two, two bigger ones, because I used the two small ones on this one. So this is going to glue about right here on my front cover. So I'm gonna glue the leaf down these I made in a separate video. These are made out of Viva paper towels and the heartfelt creations dies that I got for country, from Country Craft Creations, uh, the rustic sunflower dies and stamps. Oops, up there a little more. There we go. So just glue those on like that, and then we'll have... So I'm just batting a thousand today with totally getting off camera, and I do apologize. So I want to make sure to show you how I did, where I put the string closure on these. So um, cut a piece of string, make sure you have plenty to tie it, and I just tie it around from the back, the whole thing, and then you can tape it down. Then I took a large uh, two inch scallop punch, punched out a piece of scrap of paper and I glued that over the string on the back. So you glue it on really good. And then you bring it around the top and then I tied uh, knots in the end so that we don't lose the string uh, or doesn't completely ravel out. So it's really simple. I apologize that I went off camera in the video. So I cut that part out and, and redid this so I could show you. So here's the cup front covers with the sunflowers on it. Got the one we're working on right now, which is the darker blue, and then this is the one that I already done as my prototype. So now we're ready to continue, and if I get off camera again, I will re-record little bits of it so that you can see what I've done. So the finished size of the thumb notch pocket in my prototype ended up being three and a half, and I gave you measurements that made this one three and a quarter, but I want it shorter. I want it the three and a half. So I am just going to take my scissors and cut off about a quarter of an inch or more. So I'm just eyeballing it and cut off that quarter of an inch. Okay, so I want it, I just want it a little shorter. Straighten that up right there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Even, even if you cut off a half an inch, it's okay. Okay, so. And you can even probably put it in your trimmer. I'm going to see if I can pull this up off camera, off the edge here. Yeah. Trim this off some. Okay, so that makes it a smaller, shorter pocket, and it ended up being my finished one now. 
is about three and a quarter. So I did cut off about a half inch on mine. And I'm going to re-punch the thumb notch. The reason I'm doing that is I want it to be shorter. So that it's shorter in the book so that I can put my tab thing in there. So I'm just going to sand off any fluffy edges or jagged edges here. Now then, I cut a piece of paper here from the collection that is, so it is eight inches. I haven't cut it yet. It's eight inches by three and a half, and that's going to slide in the pocket. So what I do is I slide it in the pocket. Make sure I'm going the right direction here. Slide it in all the way till it stops because it depends on where you know yours is attached and then I'm going to fold it so that it's even out here pretty much and burnish that so I have about a quarter of an inch too long here so I'm going to cut off about because when this goes in once you've got your fold stick it in see how it sticks out too far. So I want this even with this. So I want this piece here at three and a quarter. Yeah, three and a quarter. So I'm going to go trim this off from the fold. To three and a quarter. I'm going to put the fold at three and a quarter. And I'm going to trim that off. So now I have it from the fold. It is three and a quarter. And this is going to slide in here and line up there. And then I want this one from the end to only be about a half inch. So I'm going to stick that in and trim a half inch off. That's going to make my tab. There we go. So we, I have about a quarter of an inch sticking out over that. So I'm going to round this with the half inch corner rounder. And now I have it like a file folder tab that sticks out like that. And this one needs to be trimmed just a little bit more. There we go. And so it should stick out like that from that. And then I will add a piece in there. So that's how that looks in there. To finish up your little mini folio uh, photo book, uh, grab some scraps of your paper, your cut aparts from the collection. Like this is a cut apart, this is a cut apart, these are the two, two cut aparts together, I left together and folded in half. And then you know, other scraps and your favorite punches to just make elements. So, like for this one here, I'm going to use this uh, Hope. And I'm going to finish it off around the corners using a quarter inch. Oops, no, I used a half inch. The other one I used a quarter inch. It doesn't matter. Um, so this like tucks in there. And then I took, let's see here. This first one I'm looking at what I did. I, I put this cut apart in here, yeah, with the sunflower. Then I took a scrap of the paper. This is two inches wide because it will fit in my Stampin' Up punch here. And it's about four inches long. And I'm going to round the corners. So this makes a tag that's going to slip in there and I'll add string later off camera. Um, this is a strip from the border from the cut aparts. And so I cut the border out, and it is like an inch, and I cut it to fit the page, which is about 
three and seven eighths. So I'm going to put it here. I'm going to make a belly band. So you just put glue on each end. And then you just line this up side to side. Get it as straight as you can. I like that little pop of uh, color there of the red heart. Up. There we go. Make sure you burnish that on each end so that it sticks. Okay. And then in that, put, you can put a, uh, yeah, cut apart, like the face if you want to. Um, another tag, I'm going to make a little tiny short tag of uh, this one. So this is um, two inches wide by two and a half tall. So I'm going to slip that way up in there and get that top punched. Go ahead and round these corners too. And a quarter inch on this. And that's going to tuck in there, and I'll add a string for that. So then that flips over, and we have this pocket here. And then that one's where I was going to put the hope that I folded up and rounded the corners. That goes there. And then I took some of the paper and cut this down to about three and a quarter by four. And I'm just going to round the corners, half inch or a quarter inch, whatever you have. So this just is a piece of the pattern paper, and that just kind of sticks in there. You can add lots of different things, you know, your photos or what have you. So for this right here on this side, I'm going to make a small photo mat thing. Um, scrap up the cardstock, two by three. The pattern paper is one and seven eighths but two and seven eighths and I'm going to do the quarter inch corner rounding on this glue the two together And then this glues down onto this pocket, the, the blue section there. Just move my scissors out of the way. Just kind of center that. Get it on as straight as you can. Okay, and that just decorates it up. Then we have this pocket here. Now, this piece ended up being on mine six and three quarters. I started out with an eight inch and it's um, three and a half tall. You're going to have to play with yours because your pocket may be taller or wider and I did trim my pocket down. So now this sticks in like this. So it's, I want this piece like this. And then I took a piece, let me see if this fits, a cardstock that was three by three and a half and that's going to fit in there I need it a little bit wider so it would show but I'm going to see if I can um, maybe use a paper clip or something to hold it but anyway this is going to tuck in there and I wanted that little bit of the paper to show like that there we go so then that comes over and then this side I left this blank and in this pocket we're going to make another insert so this one here is another piece of scrap that's three and a half three and a quarter by four um i didn't have this in my other one but i'm just showing you that you can take different pieces of the paper and cut it down to fit and get that really pretty images in there like that and then we have this little um cut apart here i'm going to tuck it in there too and then we'll make another we'll make a booklet thing we'll make a couple of photo mats another let's make another two inch tag so I'm going to make that out of that make it out of the blue maybe this blue over here. It's 
So I'm gonna cut this down. Oh, that's the wrong direction, that won't work. Sorry about that. I'm just looking through my scraps here, seeing what we've got that could be used. So I'm just gonna use this little piece here. I've already got cut, so I'll cut it down to let's cut it down to four inches by two. And then we'll make a tag out of it with my punch. Turn it down just a little bit more. I want it to fit in there good. Punch the top and round the corners. So that's just going to tuck in there like that. And we can put a photo mat here if we want to. I'm going to trim this down just a little bit. Make it about three and a half. It can glue right there. I'm just going to round the corners and leave it the cardstock. Glue that on. So what I'm doing is I'm using scraps of my uh, gold pearl sheen from Country Craft Creations from other projects that are just here on my craft table beside me. So look at your scraps and see what you can do. That one don't look right. That's kind of crooked. <laughs> Let me trim that down again. Um, let's make it three and a quarter somewhere. Somebody is crooked. And three quarters, no, two and a half. Now I'm going to rebound it. Yeah, they're just crooked for some reason. Now I'll glue it on. Add my glue. So I made it a little bit smaller to straighten it out because it must have been a crooked scrap there. But now we've got it. Okay, just like that. So the stuff in that one and then here I wanted to put a uh, take my scallop punch. It's big enough. Not that one. Da, da, da. There's a yellow dot I think. I'm just making a tuck spot right here. So I'll put glue just right on the edge, just a little bit of glue. And glue that right here. And then we'll take another photo mat piece. This one I already had. I'm going to trim it a little more. It looks a little crooked there on the side. Going around that, so I'll give you the measurements really quick. But you just use whatever scrap sizes you have that work. So this is three and three quarters by two and a half. And that's just going to tuck right in there like that. And then we'll need something for this pocket. So I'm going to make a booklet. Out of. This is a pretty good size. So I'm going to cut it down to about three and a half Three, yeah, three and a half inches. Let's see how wide this is. I'm going to fold this in half. So this piece was um, already in my scrap, six inches. And I'm just going to, you can use your scoreboard if you wanted to. I'm just going to line it up and press and burnish that real quick to get my fold. And then I want a piece of paper to cut to fit this. So three inches by three and a half. So I need it to be let me get this right here. Three inches by three and a half. I'm going to cut it 
two and seven eighths by three and three eighths. Let's see if that fits. Trim it down a little bit more. Also, so I didn't quite have it trimmed enough. And that's just going to glue right there on the front. I'm going to give it a mat there. Give some yellow check to just decorate the front of it. You know what? I wanted the corners rounded, so I'm going to round them real quick with a quarter inch just on one side. Glue this down. And then I'll go back and round the corners of the um, cardstock here. I'll clean the glue off my chomper there. And so that tucks in right there like that. And I think that's all I put in there was a booklet in that. So I think that's all the elements. Now, of course, right here, you could have add something here decorative if you wanted to. Put it on my mat, but that's okay. Um, about this little piece here. Let's, let's just do a small circle and see what that looks like. Sort of like making your own embellishments for this. This makes it kind of look like a flower. I like that. So I just used a one inch circle punch and punched out some of the blue and I'm going to put that right there in the center like that keeping it nice and flat you don't want it really thick so now all I have to do is add string to the tags I made and then this little booklet will be finished so that is all there is to it to making this little uh, spending a Saturday afternoon Doing a little bit of crafting, making a little folio photo book out of your patterned papers, out of an 8 by 8 paper pad. And again, I use the, um, the Heart of Courage, a special paper collection from Country Craft Creations in support of Ukraine. So thank you so much for joining me. Let me clean my desk up a little bit while I talk. Because um, I'm not going to show you putting strings on the tags. Anyway, I appreciate you uh, following along with me on my tutorials, uh, the projects that I make for myself and for Country Craft Creations. If you haven't already, please check out Country Craft Creations website for your craft and supplies, as well as check out the group Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations on Facebook. Uh, you have to request to join. Uh, when you click to join, you have to answer, I think it's three questions. If you don't answer them all, you won't be approved. So uh, that will kick you out. But if you answer everything, you know, it's just basically agreeing not to share anything that's not Country Craft Creations, uh, not sharing links to other stores and websites, and then uh, ask if you're a scrapbooker and how you heard about Country Craft Creations, uh, Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations Facebook group, and you just tell them, uh, hey, I saw it on the Sandy's YouTube channel or, you know, wherever you happen to see it. And then you'll be approved to join. And that's where all the designers for Country Craft Creations put out their, uh, uh, share the links to their tutorials and their new supplies, shares, uh, just lots going on uh, to keep you informed about Country Craft Creations. So check that out. Subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up, like, if you want to see more of my projects. And have a great day and happy crafting. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.